Hello, machinist. This wind bell is back. I couldn't ring it last time, so I will ring it again this time. We separated Japanese English channel. We recommend our Japanese speaker to watch Japanese version at Nakamura Tome Japan channel. It's finally getting exciting. What is exciting? Oscillation cutting is getting exciting. And today, I have some new release information for you. First of all, for those of you who have never seen it before, let me explain what oscillation cutting is. Oscillation cutting is a machining method that vibrates the cutting edge to break up chips. The cutting edge swings in a trajectory like this. When the cutting edge passes through the section of the trajectory that has already been processed once, an air cut section is created and chips are cut. We all hate long chips, don't we? They can get tangled in the tool and become an obstacle to automation. Chips that look like badness can clog the conveyor and cause it to malfunction. Originally, chips were broken up using high pressure current and chip breakers, but now a new option has been added. And it can be commanded with a very simple G code. So, oscillation cutting can be commanded with only two lines of code. You can choose whether to oscillate on the x axis or the z axis. The frequency multiplier i is the value for the how often we want to add the oscillation. The amplitude multiplier K is a value for the range of oscillation. But don't you all have these concerns? How should I set this variable? Is it difficult or not? So we have prepared a new screen for oscillation cutting to help you. This screen is from FANAC. So let me explain. Spin the rotation, feed rate. So value i, value k, so work diameter, nozzle, that's it. This is also graphic section of tool bus. In this screen, if you change i and k, it will judge the chip's breakup. Now it shows that it is OK. If you set i an integral number, for example, it will not be able to make an air cut. It will change to NG. That's clever. Now it also gives us the length of the chip. Actually, I broke up chips by oscillation cutting, but I want to make it shorter. In such case, let's increase the value of I. Oh, the maximum chip length is getting shorter. This looks very useful. And everyone is concerned about the surface roughness. The data shows the surface roughness get about four times worse in oscillation cutting compared to normal turning. This can also be alleviated by changing the I and K values and the feed rate. So it can be adjusted here. That's another good one. However, so these values are only theoretical values, so we could appreciate it if you would pay attention to them. And the code created here can be easily inserted into program statement. Now, let's actually use it. Let's start with taper machining by oscillation cat. Here, only one axis is the oscillation. It is divided well, isn't it? The customer had asked us, can you do with taper? I'm glad to be able to show it to you like this. Next is ID turning. The inner diameter is often clogged with chips, so this is very effective process. Let's take a look at oscillation cutting with plastic. We are often surprised by our customers because there are so many who have trouble with chips in plastic. It's difficult material to break up, you know. Or very long and tangled chip are firmly divided. This is great effect, isn't it? Well, what do you think? 
I have introduced a new screen that makes it easier to use oscillation cutting. We hope this new screen will be ever easier to use and that this wonderful machining method will become more widespread. On this side topic, the blue chips plastic felt like summer to me. The season is completely in autumn, but I would like to remember the hot summer when I see the chips. I'm off to collect some chips. See you, machinist! Bye!